Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'll do unboxing of this new electric bicycle Bandit. So this bike came in plastic wrapped, so I'm gonna remove this plastic first and then do unboxing. All right, so let's see what is inside. So it looks like a nice white seat comes. Um, everything looks like protected. Plastic fenders, which is feels like plastic, maybe not. Uh, the rack is 25 kilo rated. Uh, looks like the wheel over here. So basically it looks like everything nice packed. It comes with nice box and I'm pretty sure I already know what is inside since it should be similar to the one I just unboxed but let's see actually maybe not so front reflector headlight manual from uh, for pacer and it has all the information you need to know the charger let's see if i'll be the charger the charger is 2 amp charger comes it comes with uh, pedals which is uh, with nice grip over here you'll find R, R and L R, R for right, left for left so make sure you attach them correctly this one is for the wheels refre reflector as well if you need one you can attach them as well and it comes with the tools Let's see if it's the same tools or not. Most likely, yes. Yes, it comes with full set of tools, branches, and some of them you will probably not use today, but very useful to have them. So you get everything what you need to assemble the bike. Once you remove some packing from the fork, I like to put the wheel first. But I want to show you, the fork comes uh, with a protection over here. So you would need to remove completely this quick release, completely remove this plastic, and then you need to turn this fork 90 degree, okay? And then install the wheel. And I'll show you how to do it. So you would need to remove this quick release. This wheel comes with protection, so you need to remove this plastic first as well before installing it you don't need it from both sides right over here as well okay so everything looks real good i like this uh, spokes blackout as well really nice i will bring this fork and turn around completely like this okay and over here you'll find protection it's for the hydraulic brakes the plastic you need to remove it okay so you move it to the side and you take the wheel and insert it this is the easiest way i find out and then you put the stand on and the bike can stand by itself next step once you insert uh, the wheel you need to take the screw okay and with this piece like with this clamp insert from the side where the brakes right here so you put the spring in and this nut and tighten once it's filled tense you just close this nap all the way here so it should be like this next step i'm gonna remove this bracket for handlebar to attach okay this four bolts i'm gonna remove it place it right over here reattach this bracket with four bolts you removed uh, you can uh, attach them with your hands first and then tighten up with a torque wrench if you have or with this hex key I recommend not to tighten these bolts make sure this piece in the middle you can move up and down but they have to be in the middle so this way your handlebar will be aligned. I recommend to tighten up once you sit on the bicycle, feel comfortable, and then 
adjust the position on the handlebar and tighten up all these four bolts. Usually they are about 7 new meters torque. It's adjustable steam, so you can adjust it pretty simple. Uh, over here is this bolt, you loosen up and then you can adjust it. You don't need to loosen up, I think, this bolt, only this one on the button and it should move up and down. And then you would adjust everything. The next step, you will attach the mudguard or fenders, whatever you call it. You would need to remove this bolt. I think you need, uh, yeah, you need hex key to remove it. Also, at the same time, you will attach this uh, light. So you would remove this bolt first. Then you would remove this bolt as well from both sides to attach the fender. So first, you will take this uh, fenders, insert right over here. You take this bolt. Then you take this headlight. Headlight will go right behind this uh, fork attachment, so you attach it right here with this one bolt. And then you do it by hand as much as you can. And then you use the hex here to tighten up. I'm gonna bring this fender all the way up so mud or whatever will not get stuck between wheel and the fender. Then you take this uh, bolt and reattach this fender. And then you will tighten up with a hex key. And you do this on the both sides. And then you realign the fender to make sure it does not touch the wheel. Next, you need to reattach, actually attach, this uh, two wire. You will see red on both sides. You will align it with, a, there will be some arrow on both sides. You just align them and push it from both sides. And it's done. So the headlights are already connected. And the next step to attach the pedals, which is very important as well, to attach right to the right, left to the left. Bandit company already put letter R, so you can see it, it's right here, okay? If you don't know where it's right, it's right here. And then you look on the pedals right over here, and you would attach it, okay? Once you tighten with your hands, now you can use the wrench it came with. And just a little bit, you don't have to do hard because it will tighten by itself. And you do exactly the same on another side as well. Uh, attach the left side. And the final thing is to remove the last protection. The bike looks amazing. Everything was smooth and easy to install. It also come with NFC card with a key, which is flexible as well. It has not hydraulic 180 millimeter disc brake. All right, so the pace is ready to ride, but before doing the speed test, I want to go with you over some spec and some future. Some features are very unique to this bicycle, so I'll show you. And um, first I'll go with the tires. So I put a air pressure 45 on the front, 55 on the rear you can locate um, how much actually maximum and minimum and adjust based on your preference uh, i put a bit too much maybe but i will adjust later as well so it comes with 26 inches tires which has very nice traction it can be used for the like uh, off-road as well it's uh, all terrain as they say but it's a uh, very quiet tires as well and a uh, really nice traction on it it's a uh, 26 by 2.35 inches so it's pretty nice and it comes with a reflector on the side as you can see on the side wall so at night if it got some light it will be very visible also it has a reflector you can attach to the wheels if you want to I didn't attach it and it comes with a front reflector and this bicycle come also with a tail light so tail lights it's a uh, pretty nice and it's pretty bright at night and it's uh, working as a brake light as well and um, it comes with a nice headlight up front options to attach the basket on the front 
Pacer come with a 20 inch wide handlebar as you can see it's a kind of cruiser like beach cruiser handlebar by zoom or city bike so it's very convenient and very uh, comfortable to hold the handle because it's very nice soft and it's like a silicone rubbish style so your hands will not slip and uh, slippery also it has a adjustable steam right here so you can adjust the position you want to ride very comfortable as well it comes with a nice uh, display i'm gonna talk to you about this more later uh, it comes with a half throttle seven shifter by shimano seven speed shifter by shimano seven gear and it has a derailleur by shimano as well tourney Shimano cassette 500 watt power motor it also comes with a big battery which is 48 watt by 14.5 amp which is uh, 696 watt hours and you can charge it on the bike or off the bike because on another side you can connect the charging port it's removable battery with a key which comes with uh, two keys attached right here and you can um, charge your devices because this bike comes also with usb port right over here underneath it uh, has a c-class usb port right over here and also one on the side of the battery so you can always have like backup if you need to charge your phone or connect extra accessories so you have two usb uh, it's c class and three class i believe it comes with nice uh, spring fork which has a 95 millimeter fork with a 55 millimeter travel and it's a spring fork it comes with a free rack already attached and kind of unique you can probably have somebody running on top of it is it looks like handles rack is uh, rated up to 25 kilo which uh, 55 pounds it comes with a dual mudguard it's a plastic mudguard but still should do the job pretty well and it comes with a uh, nice large pedals but they look like plastic as well with some reflector on the side uh, the seven gear should let you ride in the city or off-road in the mountains as well because it has very nice settings and uh, it comes with nice seat which is very large compared to other bicycle so it's uh, pretty large so you don't really need to upgrade it's kind of soft i think you need to ride it for a little bit so you will get more softer usually with the time and again it comes with uh, two different frames step through and this one is high step also it comes with two different colors white and black you can check the website in description and there should be some special code for extra discounts options to check the battery on the uh, on the bike or off the bike you will see fully charged or not let's talk about the display the display is actually real nice it's color display so you need to press this power button to turn it on and it will welcome you as bandit and then you'll have a kind of password request or if you don't remember your password you can use a card with it's very quick to adjust uh, to open it so we'll unlock it okay uh, there's another option to remove the password completely you just go to settings press on settings then you going to password and click on uh, settings again and click on change and then you change to all zero Sec then you click on settings again and now you can um, click uh, turn off the bike turn it on and it will not ask for password so you have two choices actually three or four you can use the password just enter the password in manually through this uh, uh, remote also use this uh, uh, Taki which is NFC or once in the future they're gonna have the app uh, once they develop it you can unlock this bike with an app so it's all changeable it has a Bluetooth built-in and once the app is available you will be able to connect with Bluetooth as well and manage the bike information on your phone
and to turn the light on you press this uh, minus sinus so you will turn on the bike uh, light and you'll see night light if you turn off click again you will turn it off so once you press the plus sign you will turn the walking mode and you'll see the walk mode will get brighter um, the bandit uh, i think all of the bicycles have the same settings when you turn on the bicycle for the first time or any time it will be in zero assist level what does it do for you it's actually a safety feature which really great as many bicycles have set to one level which create sometimes problems so let's say you turn on the bicycle but you forgot to uh, do something else and then you come back accidentally touching the throttle you the bicycle will get crazy when it's in zero mode on this bicycle the throttle will not work the pedals will not work uh, electronically so basically it stay in pause so nothing will happen crazy so it's a very good when you ready to ride you just press plus sign change to the number assist level one and this bicycle come with six different modes so you can go up to the sport mode and every time you change the mode you will see change in display the color and the message okay so let's go for right all right so let's go for the speed test first and then go see ch check the brakes as well and the shifting is pretty good so far uh, on this bike everything works perfect uh, i did adjust some brakes on it but it was not as hard and you can adjust brake by yourself or take to any shop So the first test I will do with the throttle only and see how fast it will go with me on top of it. I weighed about 215 pounds with all this gear as well. So it's about 50 miles right now, 16, 17, 18, 20. So it's staying 20, I guess. Uh, so the maximum speed with throttle is like 20 miles. And I'm gonna go all the way down as usual. So it's stay 20, pretty good. And the battery was fully charged. And now I'm gonna go for assist test. So I Put it on the sport mode level six to make sure okay the last it's on the gear number seven right now and see how fast i can pedal without uh, ghost pedaling okay so it's 14 16 17 18 19 21 22 23 24 25, 26, 27, 28. Wow. Uh, so it did make the 28 miles an hour on full charge battery. And I still could go probably faster if I have a longer distance because it's still was not like ghost pedaling like sometimes happens with some bicycles so is this enough gears to switch to go 28 miles now it's on sale for 1200 hours which makes it pretty good deal and they offer 100 hours off for my followers you can find this discount in description as well so it will make it like 1100 which is even better the full hydraulic brakes makes big difference in braking usually so let's go for a test to see how the brakes works so i'll go about 20 miles an hour i will not go as fast most likely let's see and then i'll brake so 20 22 23 and I'll break right now okay it actually left some line so it does give you good braking power as supposed to be 
and this bike weighs about 65 pounds with the battery and the battery itself about 9 pounds and um, again uh, you need to adjust the seat handlebar everything to your position high like so i adjust it right now to my high position i'm 511 i adjust the handlebar and i sit on it as you can see really comfortable my back is straight handles like holding real nice the grips are great actually on this bicycle one of the softest and i noticed they do have very good quality parts on this bicycle as well even it's uh, in budget category but it comes with nice premium parts and uh, why the handlebar helps you to maneuver anywhere in the city on the beach or off-road i think this bicycle can go off-road easily because the fork actually works real good it's a 55 millimeter travel which uh, pretty good it's a it's a kind of a spring fork but uh, looks like good quality so if you're going to go off-road on this bicycle like on fire lanes it should be just fine as well and because the tires are not as thick as full four inches tires like flat tires uh, to pedal it let's see how easy so right now i'm pedaling with the motor off i put in a zero uh, level assist i can change to gear number four and just pedal as regular bicycle so you will never run out of power as long as you can pedal this bicycle the battery actually should last for a long time and there should be no problem to riding the bicycle as a regular bicycle as well so it's a great uh, actually deal because some fat bicycle you can also ride as regular bicycle but they would be right as fat bicycles because the fatter tires have more resistance with this one you got less resistance so it's kind of easy to pedal for sure okay so now the power is on it's accelerate pretty good when you start to pedal and they will have a walking uh, store in santa monica so once they open you can uh, come by and check them out i'll post uh, address in description as well it's a new company but they are opening local stores and also they will have some dealers most likely so you can check online or if you are in that area you can probably stop by for testing them and um, i know people want to go faster than 20 miles an hour on throttle only but because of this lowers and restriction to the class uh, this one comes as class 3 these are stickers on the frame it says class 3 28 miles an hour with pedal assist so legally the company cannot really sell you differently otherwise they're gonna break the law that's why you cannot really change the speed on throttle only but i think 20 miles an hour it's more than enough to ride on the beach city or off-road mostly bicycles regular bicycle going about up to 10 miles on the beach so you still go double speed what they are actually going so it kind of fast and not safe and that's about it thank you guys for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit subscribe and like it and i'll see you in the next video